Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, to the world away. We now got part 13 of Hashit Partworks Build the Spitfire Mark 1A. <laughs> Okay, it's a really hot Wednesday today. So hot, I've put the Hawaiian shirt on and it's like, uh, I think it's going to be 32 degrees centigrade. I don't know what that equates to in Fahrenheit. It's in the high 90s, I think, uh, which is a struggle for us folks in the UK because we don't have air conditioning. So uh, I've just got a fan blowing on me over there and that's pretty much it. So uh, if you see me like uh, drained and, uh, you know, just sweating something chronic like the scene from Airplane where he's trying to land the plane, uh, that's uh, my apology, but it's like six o'clock in the morning. It's already really hot in here and under these studio lights. Oh, have I painted the picture for you yet? <laughs> well, talking about being hot, we're going to be fitting the fireproof bulkhead and engine. So as you can see here, this is everything that we've got in the pack here, looking just like that. Uh, we're going to be fitting the bulkhead. We're going to be putting quite a few details onto this bulkhead. And once we've got them all on, we're going to be putting the engine in. We've already done this once before putting the engine on, but we're going to be doing that again making sure it locks into the brackets okay, putting the bulkhead on, and then we're going to be adding some more of these uh, parts that we kept from issue 11, I believe it was, uh, to put on the bulk tech. So we've got some brackets behind that. So when it's actually completed, the engine's installed, and it's actually in the surround of all the frame there. So uh, this is going to be quite detailed. So I'm not sure how long it's going to take. Uh, in the next issue, as you can see, we've got the first parts for the cockpit frame. So we are going to start building the cockpit, which is brilliant news. So I'll be honest, when I first saw how much stuff we've got to do in that's a little bit nervous of these ones because it seems to be quite a lot to do, quite a lot of fiddly things. So once again, I'm going to be using these as well just to help out. So without further ado, let's get cracking. Okay, we don't need the bulkhead now, but I'm just going to take that out. Just so you know, this is metal. It's quite heavy. and We're going to be putting our details onto this. So I'm going to leave that to one side. And the first sprue we're going to need looks just like that. Now we need details I and J, which are these two here. And here so let's get these cut off uh, once again I'm using sprue cutters here these are on my Amazon store and they're available in the uh, Amazon store I've put a link up on the screen there so we get these off and it just ensures that they're cut off really tight here now I've got me uh, little magnifying glasses on here just so I can make sure that I'm cutting the detail exactly where it needs to be cut which is very important especially for this piece here because you see it's got a little tab just on the side there so quite simply, the first thing we're going to do when we've got these two parts is this section here is going to be going into that section just like that. Uh, but we do want to put a touch of glue in there. So I've already got some glue loaded up. I'm just going to put it around the rim there. I'm applying it here just with a, uh, a pin vise with just a normal dress pin inside it there. So push this in. And there we go. That's the first detail done. So we'll put that to one side, we'll cut the other details off now. So we've got this one here. Then just like last time, we've got these two details here. They're going to be going together. This has got a tab as well, and this is going to go towards the flat section of that small detail. So once again, I just need to drop some glue into there. So as you can see, I don't really go overboard on the glue here. Just enough to keep the pieces held in together. Make sure we put this around the right way again. And then we'll slot these two in. Just holding it into place. And there we go. That's the next detail completed. Now we need to take the bulkhead over. And the first piece that we made, with a little tab on the bottom, is just going to go into this hole just there. So I'm going to drop some glue into that tab. And the way around it goes is the part that we pushed in is actually going to be facing outwards. So if when I drop it in, just like that, I'll show you that on the close up there, that should look like that. Now the next detail that we made is actually just going to go onto the tab just at the top there. So once again, I've got to drop some glue into there, just like that. And this is going to be facing this way with the small detail facing towards the top of this bulkhead. So when I put this in, put it in, show you what it looks like. Make sure it's all straight. So that's gonna look just like that. Again, we're gonna put that to one side because we're gonna be taking some details from the next sprue here. And what we're gonna be doing is taking one of the details off and we'll put it on the bulkhead. And I think we'll work that way rather than take them all off at one go. So the first two details, we need a D and E, which are these two here. So we get these off the sprue. 
So those two details just look like that and that. And once again, we're just going to drop some glue into the open end here, just like that, because we're going to be piecing these two pieces together. It does have a certain way to go. If you just rotate it when you glue it, you'll feel it click into place. But that's that section complete there. Now that detail we've just done is just going to go into the top little slot up there. So I'll drop some glue into that. Just like this. And it's going to be facing down. So when I put this one in, again, just make sure it's straight to the bulkhead. And there we go. That's that detail in. The next detail we need is detail C, which is this bottom one here. So we get that one off. One and two. This doesn't need to be glued uh, into any other detail, but this detail is just going to go into this hole just here. Make sure we've got plenty of glue in there and we'll put that in. Now it faces a certain way, so I'll put it in and I'll show you what that should look like. There we go. That's what that should look like. Facing with the, uh, I'm going to call it the nipple again, <laughs> towards the base of the uh, bulkhead there. Now we need part B, which is the uh, top one left on the sprue there. Making sure we cut this in the right place because it has got a little tab on the bottom of it. That's what part B looks like. That one's going to go into this slot just next to it here. And basically it's got a flat side and a detail side. The flat side points towards the outside of the bulkhead. So if I get this in, keep it in place for a second, make sure it's straight. There we go. That's going to look just like that. Then we're going to be using part A, which is this one here. So we get this one off. Part A looks just like that. And that's going to go into the slot just at the top here. So I get plenty of glue in there. And basically this goes in this way. And it sort of sits at an angle. So again, you want to make sure that's straight. So that looks just like that and that from that side. And then the last piece is this piece down the bottom, which is part F. In the instructions, there is a mistake. It does actually label this as part A. It's actually part F. <laughs> because we've just fitted part A. And this is going to go into the two holes that you can see here. Drop some glue into there. And the other side here. There we go. So I'll push this in. Again, this has got a tiny nipple on it, but I don't think it matters which way it goes in. But the nipple is pointing towards the base again of the bulkhead. Now the last detail we got here isn't on a sprue. It just looks like this on its own. That's going to go at the top here with the two holes. I'm just going to put some glue in that so you can see what holes I'm talking about, which is these ones here and one the other side here. And I'll put this detail in just so you can see how this is orientated. Just like that. It's sort of like got a larger section at the top and a smaller sort of curve at the bottom there. But that is the bulkhead uh, completed. Now we need to bring the fuselage over and put the engine in. Now, if you haven't seen me put the engine in before, basically we've got a tab just there that we had to uh, add to this section here. Uh, and that's going to go into the bottom cavity of the engine here. So when I put it in, I'm going to put it at an angle and sort of slide it in. So uh, it's a little bit tricky, but you know you've got it in because it sort of all clicks into place. Just like that. Now they do say in the instructions, make sure that the supercharger here is just fitting directly over the recess there, which it is. So that once it's over there, that does give the engine stability. It doesn't wobble anymore because uh, the supercharger has now locked that into place. So we've got the engine in. I'm just going to put that to one side again because we need to bring over the bulkhead. and We're going to be attaching the brackets that we had uh, from issue 11 in here. So these are the parts that we had over from issue 11. So I'm just going to get these brackets out. We've got one and two looking like that. And the first bracket we need has this detail on just here. Uh, that's basically going to be going in 
this way round so that we've got the flat end and uh, just a lug there. It's going to fit into the flat end and the lug there. So this is going to be going in just like this. So what I'll do is I'll put some glue in there and we'll get that into place. I'm being quite sparing with the glue here because um, these are metal going into metal and it's only the super glue that's holding it in place. But when you put it in, you want to make sure that they're fitting flat and straight and not bent over because you're not really going to be able to move that afterwards. So that's that one in, and that's how that's looking. We're going to do the same on the other side here. Once again, just making sure that we mirror that part there. So this is actually just going to go into that way like that. So I'll drop some glue into there as well. As a matter of fact, I say straight, it is at a slight angle. It comes out uh, because obviously the engine's going to be going around this. So if it's sitting flat, it should sit sort of just at an angle like that. Now, the two ends for these brackets here, one, two, three, four, are going to be fitting into these holes that we've got on the back of the bearer there. So when we put this in, the uh, base of the bulkhead with these two lugs here, gonna fit onto the two lugs that you can see here. So it's sort of gonna be a putting in this way around. So we put this in, line everything up. Just wanna see, have a test fit of it, see how it looks. And once we're happy that we've got that lined up, we're actually gonna secure this into place with some PM two times four mil screws, which I have here. So I'll get them in. So here's the first one, just going into here. Make sure it's nice and tight, just like that. Do the other side. So it's the frame at the back done and on the other side there. So uh, they're just secured in with two screws. Now the final thing to do is we've got two pipes from this unit here and they're basically going on the side of a bracket in there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these in and then I'm gonna take a picture of it to show you exactly what that looks like because I'm very much aware that you can't see that. And as you can see, I've tried to take a picture of how they go onto that bulkhead. And when that's in, that's how that should look. And uh, I'll just put the fuselage on the side again, just so you can see what this looks like. It is worth noticing, we do have two pipes left over still from uh, the parts with the brackets, parts 11. It hasn't told us where they're going yet, but uh, I'll put the sides back on. The sides just basically clip on over the magnets that we installed last time. And there we go. That's the sides on there fitting nice and flush and there you can see the bracket underneath that we just installed and obviously the bulkheads in place now as well now I've got a little bit of work to do in post-production you may have noticed this but uh, I did have a warp in my engine bearer which I've been trying to deal with and uh, what the warps caused it means that these things don't line up at the moment the uh, the actual brackets there's not a lot I can do about it um, as you see it's not actually sitting properly there I need to put that in and this one here needs to move up a little bit which uh, it's gonna be a nightmare to try and get that into place but I'm gonna have a fiddle around with that just to try and get that in but that's all because this bearer here was bent so um, I had to get the hair dryer on it. Oh, there's a lot of edits and cuts, but I want to uh, show you what the problem I've got here is and I need to fix that. But uh, obviously you don't see that anyway until you take the top off because obviously this fits on the side and it actually fits pretty perfect on the side there. Um, I'll put it back in uh, just like that, you see. So, <laughs> but we will get that fixed. So that's all there is for that issue. Uh, tomorrow we should be doing a Bismarck, but for the rest of the day, you see I'm sweating now and it's only like, seven o'clock in the morning it's going to be a hot one today but i really do hope you like that video if you did please remember to give me a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed already please remember to subscribe other than that take care